Good morning, folks. You are looking at the YouTube channel of Alan Heath, a Polish videographer who got lucky just before dawn as lava began pouring down the side of the Etna volcano in Italy. Something that keeps happening in America, explosions in populated areas. We've seen this in agrozones, neighborhoods, now the Kansas City Business District. Themis, sent to study the magnetosphere, this should sound familiar to you. They conclude that slight variations in the solar wind can have drastic geomagnetic effects. Good article here on magnetic particle acceleration by the planets will be linked for you below. And I know I'm going to make someone's day with this one, Fibonacci in Nature, linked for you below. No major quakes in a couple of days, although some moderate activity is present in Alaska this morning and last night in Greenland of all places. On to top weather stories. This depression is very weak and mostly a rain event. Cyclone Harunda has solid development and right now set right between Africa and Madagascar. Southwest Pacific weather news is on paper. Madden Julian Oscillation set to bring back the monsoon while south and western Queensland. Drought is their problem. Immediate storm zones are here. Europe, very simply, for three days counterclockwise movement will bring warmer air to the parts of Europe that cooled off the last three days. Extreme weather in Chino, they are trying to confirm a tornado touchdown there, but as this low is moving across the states, we still have the last one over New England. Both pushing air counterclockwise seems to suggest that we should have a sweeping southward flow in the middle that comes back up. And what do you know? The north side of this will be buried in snow. Hope you got your preps ready. The southern edge is nothing to mess with either, and that's not going to change for days. Lastly, the Pacific Northwest. SSDD with the lows tucked up here. Second panel showing cosmic ray density going back up. You will recall yesterday's news highlighted many eruptions on the northern solar disk. We saw the ejection and now NASA's endless spiral and NOAA's endless spiral both updated to show a very tiny weak impact. For those who missed my second video yesterday there were far more amazing things happening on the Sun quick look at the umbral field shows more calm than normal she's been highly active lately speaking of active the great morphing sunspot no one now agrees with yesterday's call of beta gamma delta for this region although it is headed for the limb and not living up to her magnetics shame complexity on the south is moderate still not getting the flares we need well, what about the massive filament surely that was good for a show right well, about 12 hours ago, the destabilization that built for two days finally overcame her and it slid back into the sun and spread a little bit of plasma into the corona. The threat is gone. Not that the sun didn't come with some extra clips. Feinstein, I believe the sun is outside your jurisdiction. As many of you know, we are a few hours from the Neptune solar conjunction. If I turn off the atmosphere, we see them right there. One day forward shows the conjunction over. So with solar instability and a couple coronal holes on the disk, we'll combine those three for a minor quake watch. Remember the difference between minor and major watches. I'll end by showing you two vertical plasma filaments causing minor coronal cavities above them via the curve of the EM force holding them up in the first place. The grandest version of a coronal cavity ever was mistaken for an orb sucking on the sun. You'll see momentarily how silly that is if you can't already. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.